Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the garage. I'm here with Jordan, Brett, the Triple F Collection. Today we're gonna to be talking about the current garage. Uh, we kind of have cars scattered all over the place, so we're gonna be talking about that. So without further ado, Jordan, if you wanna to top the list off and talk about what's in the garage currently. Yeah, man, it's been a long time coming, uh, going through the list, people have asked for it. Um, everybody's been DMing, hey man, let's get a list going. Like, what do you guys have? What do you not have? Uh, so a good opportunity here, we'll start out with Kind of the main one is the Pagani Huayra MVBC. Uh, we just got that in the last couple months. That's kind of the king right now of the garage. Um, we have the Bugatti Chiron, who just came back for service, right back here behind us. That's more like the king of the garage. Yeah. The, the big boy, 4,500 pound beast. Um, the newly minted McLaren Sabre, one of 16. That's behind us. Uh, we have the Koenigsegg Regera. So along with the Regera, you know, that's, you know, the Regera is part of a, a, a host of cars here that have come in recently. So it gets a little bit confusing. Uh, we have the McLaren P1, the custom fire Genesis Blue, that's been around for a little while and that's here to stay. So we also have the McLaren Senna, um, the Porsche 918. Um, so along with the Porsche 918, we have the, Porsche, the 2005 Carrera GT. Uh, one, honestly, one of the best cars that we've had in, in the collection. Yeah. The sound is second to none. Uh, we can kind of get into a little bit later uh, the car that's kind of on the radar uh, that's similar in sound uh, one of the best sounding cars that, that we have there's always an argument between these two cars on what's the best sounding car of all time so if that's a giveaway then then so people should know what that is right. next is the newly delivered 1954 mercedes 300 sl gullwing um, it's the same tartan plaid fabric as the Pagani MVBC. Tartan, I like that. That's good. It's the I like it. Yeah, I mean. Tartan. That's which, good. Which keep, was... keep, keep, keep that in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Which, which was sourced from the 1954 Mercedes Formula One car, uh, the original plaid. Oh. Next, we have uh, one of my personal favorites, which is the. Oh, I can't continue. After. It's okay. Go ahead. Just... Next is uh, one of my personal favorites, the McLaren MSO HS. A lot of people may not recognize that car due to the P1 GTR wrap that we have on it, the livery. Uh, still in service. Yes, yeah, still in it's major had, service. It's having yeah. some major service done that hasn't been here for a while. It has not seen the garage up to this point. Correct. Um, hopefully, in the next couple months. We're, we're gonna have that back. Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing some really cool content with the MSO High Sport, but it has not been around. Some people might've forgotten about it a little bit. A lot of the new subscribers or new followers on Instagram probably have never seen that car. I'll try to share some more information on that car on Instagram here probably this week. Next is the little sister car, little brother car is the 675 LT. This car is probably the most special car to both of us. It was the first ground up build that we did with McLaren um, back in 2000. 15, I believe the project started yep. with McLaren of Philadelphia. So thank you and shout out to McLaren of Philly for taking a chance on giving us an allocation. Um, I think that was a really good relationship. Uh, the start of a really good relationship, I should say. Yeah, it was great. We just got the 12C in for service and they offered up us a 675 allocation. So it kind of all started from there with the 675. <clears throat> Next is uh, the McLaren 720S, which uh, for those who have been following us for a while, uh, I'm probably the most familiar with that car. I did a 2,500 mile uh, rally in that car, not a single issue. Uh, cracked the windshield, um, but other than that, the car ran flawlessly. This was pre-unobtainium unobtainium exhaust, Sissio performance tune and downpipe. So that car is gonna be an animal. Uh, probably gonna compete with some of the yeah, the and just like all cars. these recent deliveries, we have not had a chance yet on warm weather days to take advantage of the power with this and all these recent deliveries. So right. uh, a lot of cool stuff coming for the spring. Mama F's big uh, Rolls Royce calling in. A lot more content to come with that thing, I think. I think we can have a lot of fun with that, whether it's out on the property or just driving around, going through McDonald's. And Yeah, we have a couple We have a couple things planned. We don't want to give it away. For the Rolls, for sure. Uh, next is the McLaren 600 LT, which is the twin to the McLaren Senna. Uh, it's done again in Fire Genesis Blue. This time we did a satin finish on the carbon with the aluminum uh, finish wheels instead of the black to give it a little different taste. So, Jordan, if you want to jump in. Yeah, we have the Ferrari 458 Spider. Uh, that's been in the family for a 
few years, couple years now, we don't have too much content with it, but we need to get, and everybody yeah. asks, do we have a Ferrari? Do we not have a Ferrari? Why don't you have Ferrari? So it, we do have one. We've had one for a couple years. Uh, need to get some more content with it, which we will. To follow, sorry to jump yeah. in, to follow that up, we have had a Ferrari 458, which was probably the first, second supercar uh, yeah. in the garage after the, the Turbo S we had. Um, we also have had a 488. Um, didn't really care too much for the 488. I was a little, didn't have a lot of emotion to it. So quickly moved on from that one. We have the McLaren 650S Can-Am, uh, one of 50 Can-Am cars, uh, very special to us. It's, you know, kind of getting some of these special edition McLarens has been a staple of the garage. And, uh, you know, that's certainly a throwback to the original, one of the original body styles, which is, in my opinion, uh, still one of the best looking that they produce. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the, the 991, 911 Turbo S cab, uh, who's sitting beside the Pagani back here. Uh, just the everyday supercar, can't say enough about 911 turbos. Yeah. Uh, which brings us to our, the new 992 Turbo S that we have, you've seen on the delivery video. Again, just stunning. Yeah. Does Absolutely. everything extremely well. Um, if you're looking for an everyday supercar, um, at a very competitive price point compared to some of the others, you cannot go wrong with the, the Turbo S. You can't. Cannot. You're right, Brett. Absolutely You cannot. cannot go wrong with it. One of my faves. In other news, we have the Mercedes AMG GTR Roadster. Um, that's been a, a very interesting car for me because I didn't think I would like it as much mm -hmm. as I do. But we don't, we're not typically too into the spiders, but that thing with the top down is fantastic. Yeah, great experience driving that car. Uh, the Mercedes E63 S AMG Rentec, uh, Stage 2 Rentec, mm -hmm. uh, 840 horsepower, all-wheel drive, have winter tires on it. Family sedan. It's amazing. One of the, one of the best cars, best dailies that that I've that we've ever had. So we just got. I know, uh, you know, Bryce wants us to get it out there in the snow and do some pretty crazy stuff with it. So yeah, if we get a good snow again, more content coming for sure. The good old Bentley Bentayga who has been uh, uh, scraped and scratched along uh, garage doors. I mean, you name it, this thing has replaced panels, but she's still there. She's still kicking. Um, we're not gonna trade that in. We've talked about it before, but that'll kind of be, uh, you know, one of the staples of, of the SUV lineup. We also have the Lamborghini Urus, which has been around for a little bit. That's still here. One of my favorites of any car. Love the spec, the blue yeah. with, with the red, the Superman spec. The Mercedes G550 squared, the true side by side of the property, pretty much. Yeah. The car is absolutely amazing. Go anywhere, use it. How it's designed to be used has a lot of cracked carbon fiber fenders. It just it's used the way it meant it's meant to be used. Sure. And it's a lot of people. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people don't use them for that purpose. You see them driving, you know, downtown and things like that. No, it's out on the property, going through ravines and mud and creeks. And I mean, I think all the carbon fiber is ripped on it. That's yeah. All I think fenders. every fender has a crack somewhere in it. So it's it's used properly. It is uh, the Mercedes AMG GT 63S. Um, it's stock. It's we we don't have it Rentec tuned, but the thing is insanely fast. Just a different feel yeah. than the E63. A little bit bigger body. Yeah. Um, amazing car as well. We have the 718, the new 2020 Cayman GT4. Absolutely incredible car. I I have found myself taking that out um, over the last few weeks just to go have fun and drive with it. Got some new HRE wheels coming on it. It's I saw a picture for the first time of them today. Yes. Fantastic. It's gonna look good. It will look good for sure. It's gonna get a really nice exhaust put on it too. Yep, that'll be about six weeks, mm -hmm. and that exhaust will come in. We'll do a full, a full video on that. It'll be good. What else we got, Brett? Uh, let's see the Datsun 280. Uh, that one's. It was a project car that we brought in about two months ago. Uh, it's sitting over here in the corner collecting dust right now. It's. I don't know which direction we're gonna go with it yet. Well, it is completely dead over there right now. So literally it's just, it's a garage ornament right now. Yeah, Cedric said it's just completely dead, so. So we don't know what direction we're gonna go with that one. I don't know if the build will end up happening. I don't know. Uh, next yeah, we have the 63 split window. Uh, it's been a staple in the garage for about two, almost two years now. Yep. Um, it's a complete chassis uh, rebuild. Um, you can kind of yeah, I mean, it has a 400 cubic inch uh, blueprint motor, 500 horsepower, um, everything updated on it, brakes, suspension, chassis, 
um, completely redone interior. So we'll, we'll be getting that out more yeah. now that I, it's I would love to do some more here. content on that. People always ask about the split window. Um, it, it drives phenomenal. So it, there's no reason why we can't get it out and do more content with it. And For sure. Share it a lot more. It's, just, it's hard to jump in something like that when we have all this modern tech around us, but it, it, it does deserve a lot, of, a lot more love than what we give it. For sure. We have the Camaro Z28 that's been uh, pro-charged. Thing is, is a beast. We, again, can't get much out of it right now because of how cold it is. Yeah. Um, the Shelby GT500, that's going into the shop to get uh, 900 horsepower to the wheels mm -hmm. through Rabbit Customs. That thing's gonna be insane on E85. We have the GT350R, that's gonna get supercharged, long tube headers, high flow cats. That's gonna be probably 750 to 800 to the wheels. That's gonna be amazing with a manual. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the most fun cars to drive in the garage. For sure. When it's warm out. Yep, we recently um, just surprised one of the family members with a, a Roush Ford Raptor. That was really cool. Very Big cool. bow on it, underneath the lights. That was, that was a fun thing. It's kind of like a dream come true situation with it underneath the lights back here and the bow and, and everything. It was, it, was, it was really cool. It was cool. But yeah, so that's the current garage update. There's other cars, there's other SUVs, random family cars, but you know, this is kind of just the main the main stuff in the garage. Kind of that, the highlight reel yeah. um, that everybody is more or less interested in, if you will. Correct. So, and you know, I'm, I'm sure at some point we'll go through some other stuff. I mean, other people have, have asked like, hey, what are all the dailies? Like what other cars are in there? You know, there's other G-Wagons, there's Navigators, there's a bunch of other F things. F-250s, GMCs, yeah. everything. Yeah, so I'm sure we'll do one on that, but you know, that's, that's the current garage update. And here pretty soon we're gonna be doing what's coming. Yep. It's even more exciting, really. Very exciting. Your new Columbus news anchors. I feel like this is easier than just you and me doing this. Hit record, we're done. Press the button. I'll start. Lead us into the promised land, All my right. friend. Welcome back to cool. the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> we are a mess right now. Like you're thinking about swinging this way or what? Hey, you know what? At second thought, we're just going to keep our original one. Okay. So <laughs>